The schedule makeup has to matter. Right. Well, the, the makeup State. of the schedule has to matter. Washington's going to face 10 Power 5 teams plus a conference championship game. So only one group of five and let's, one of let's, let's. How is that different from everybody else? I'm That's just saying what I don't so, so far, like, for instance, I think Wisconsin's real good. Uh, you know, I mean, Wisconsin's lost a bunch of games, but they played a great schedule. I, I don't get paralyzed by undefeated. I think it's overrated. I think these athletic directors, you don't like the athletic directors on the committee. I don't like the athletic directors in the offseason that get on the phone and dial up Rutgers. <laughs> That's what I don't like. You don't like them, and I don't like them. We like we don't like them for different reasons. So Michigan and Ohio State can play Rutgers, and it's just fine. Well, no, they're in conference. Jim they're... Delaney called them up and said, "Come on in." No, they're they're <laughs> stuck. Well, if you're stuck playing Maryland, I'm okay with it. But if you get on the phone and dial Maryland, then I have a problem. You know, yesterday Goulet on the show sided with you. He believes, and I just think this is crazy, but you think this too. Goulet sides with you. He thinks this is, this committee thing is all kind of a TV show until the final poll. Oh, no question about it. Now, if, this was, you... if this was a press release and not a television show, it would be it would be much different. You wouldn't have the wild swings right now. The committee believes in their own power. There's wild statistical variance based on one rogue variable and a 12 variable equation, which I think is just totally asinine, to be quite honest with you. I think you're only as strong as your word. As a person, as a group, as See, an entity. And this committee constantly goes back on their word on which criteria is the, so the you, main you, criteria week to week. You think they sit in a room and it's like, hey, Larry, what, Jim? Larry, I'm just moving the Aggies up because it's better for Clat to complain about. <laughs> All right, Jim, I'll put them at four. No Here, way they're top ten. Here's what I think is that you get into that room and there's it's a no-win proposition. So you default to the only thing that you can defend yourself with, which is these ridiculous resume metrics. And so we failed to watch the games. Did anybody see that Cal has beaten two ranked teams at home? They were undefeated mm -hmm. at home, and Washington went out there and blew the doors off of them. Yeah, I'm not saying Washington's bad. I'm not. I'm just saying I think Ohio State's got the best coach in college football and better personnel. So but I think Washington's good. Florida and, and LSU get moved way down. Florida out of the pole. LSU down 11 spots. LSU plays Alabama tougher, yeah. tougher than Texas A&M. Yep. A&M loses to Mississippi State, who lost to, like, South Alabama. I know. And A&M moves down four spots. Listen, I don't love the committee either. I, the I committee don't. is a joke, Colin. It's a outright joke. 